Champagne. And for those who are new, I love to make my channel all about roller skating, traveling, and thrifting. And today, as you can see, I have a lovely pile over here of clothes, shoes, accessories, furniture, and frames. And we're going to get into that. What's so special about this thrift haul is this is shopping with two different friends because this year I did say I wanted to do thrifting with friends and wanted to share that. So not only will I be showing my clothes, I will also be showing how I style them. I'll have a cute little like pop up here of what I wore because I do have some friends who do love the way I style my clothes. So let's get into it. Are you ready? Are you ready? I'm in a very, very happy mood right now. And then lastly, I will be talking about these lovely two yellow leather chairs that I bought on T Boo. Boo. So let's get started. Let's start with our tops. I'm going to work all the way down, tops to bottoms to sets. I will also have the link in the description box of where I bought all of these items. Of course, you're probably not going to find something exactly the same, but you could find a piece that you're looking for at any of these locations, and I'm going to share them with you. Okay, so tops. Moving on to the tops. So these first three tops that I'm showing you are all from one of the location. I got to look this up. I still have my receipts. This is all from 13 Atwater Village in LA. And these are the first three tops. So this is the first one that I bought. I love this. And it was also in the men's section. I love the way it feels, but I bought it because I love checkered print. I love Disney. I do love Mickey. Minnie was really my first favorite. And I love that pop of yellow color. What's crazy is the minute I first bought this top, I didn't realize that later I would see two other men wearing this exact same top. I love to go roller skating and since the past few times I went to Fountain Valley Roller Rink, I've seen men wearing this exact same top. Where did the, where is this from? As I'm looking at it now, this is Disney. And this is actually extra large and 100% cotton. Love it. I always wanna tell people, never be afraid to shop in the men's section. I absolutely love shopping in the men's section. I like to mix both men, both masculine and feminine into my style. My style is just a mix of a bunch of things. I like urban street wear. I like doing period pieces like 70s, whatever kind of just works with my style and my hair, that's, that's how I dress. And with this lovely top, there's so many ways you can dress this. You can do jeans, you can do leather pants, you can do shorts, just depending on the weather. You can even rock this with a skirt. You can wear this any way you want to. But for me, if I'm just running around and I got somewhere to be, or I don't really have anywhere to be, I, I would probably just wear jeans. Until I'm like, ooh, let me dress it up, dress it up. Then I'll, I'll really sit there and look at my closet and be like, what do I want to pair this with? So yeah, I think jeans and a, just the tee is always a classic and timeless piece, you know? That's how you could dress it. So the next top, oh my God, also in the men's section. I'm a fan of Game of Thrones and my favorite character of all time, well, maybe not of all time, but one of my favorite characters from Game of Thrones is my lovely girl right here. I gotta get up and show you her. She was everything, Arya. I, I still to this day want to get a tattoo of the needle. This is only for those who know Game of Thrones, but this was in the men's section. 
she is the baddest the baddest and i saw this and i knew it had to be mine this of course game of thrones it's a size medium you can easily pair this again with some jeans that's probably how i would rock it jeans depending on the weather possibly shorts but again you can't go wrong with some simple jeans Arya Stark. Damn, I really feel bad for their whole family. Their entire family. I mean, I don't care if I'm gonna give away any anything because this show's been out for years and it's all over HBO Max, but it's so sad. Their family, half of them just all die. And it's all the hot ones that die. Like, why? Why did they do it that? Anyways. The next top, also from the same location. This is from Forever 21. But I found it and I knew immediately this had to be mine. I was shopping with a homegirl, Rachel, and she's like, you know what? I saw that first and I just left it. And I was like, thank you. You left it just for me. I love that it's a crop. Honestly, I think this might have been longer and I think someone just cut it. And this is a size large from Forever 21. I mean, y'all know these colors, right? <laughs> Jamaica, Jamaica, Jamaica. <laughs> I absolutely love this. Now this I would pair with some pants, style it up with maybe a boot or something. Just, I wanna give like a bit of an edgy look because this is a crop top sheer, sheer. This is just, that's it, that's all this is. So I love that. I think this would be great with just some pants and like boots. Funk it up, funk it up, okay? Yes. I don't really know the prices of any of these items because the minute I took them home, I just washed them. Clearly, I can look at my receipts and tell you, but I paid about $4.99 to $6.99 for these. Do you guys really need to know the prices of the things I bought? I mean, it's Goodwill. The next two tops that I have are not from a Goodwill, but they are from a Salvation Army. What I do like about Salvation Armies is that a lot of times when you go in there, it's prices vary like this. All tops are $6.99 or $4.99. All bottoms are $6 to $9.99. I like how they do it like that. Whereas at Goodwill, I feel like a lot of times they'll look at the prices of what that item was before and maybe cut it in half or cut it even lower than that. It really depends. And if they have new items at the Goodwill, I feel like the price gets a little high. Sometimes, sometimes you'll find items $14.99 and up, and you're like, why is that? I think because maybe it's new and it came to Goodwill and they were able to look at the price and then figure out ooh, a good price for it. But that is what I do like about Salvation Armies. They'll just be like, all tops are just gonna be this side, this price. So, anyways. The Salvation Army I went to, grabbing my receipt, was Roscoe Boulevard in Canoga Park. So again, still went shopping with the homegirl, Rachel. And I found this first top. I love cheetah print. I think what I like so much about cheetah print is you can style it with a bright color. You can nude it. You can rock it with other patterns because this is just, this is it. This is the pattern, you know? I love how stretchy this material is. I absolutely love that there is a hole, just a cute little hole in the front. This is from Topshop, but my favorite part about this is the back. Peekaboo! I love the little cross back here. I just love that nice little open back. I mean, clearly I'm still exercising, so I don't have the sexiest back. There's still like some jelly rolls, but I don't care. I'm a grown, full-size woman. You gonna see it and you gonna love it. Okay, okay. This again, there's, I think for me, I for now, I would probably pair this with some leather black pants or leather brown pants that I own. There's so many ways that you can dress this. Like, don't be afraid to look outside the, your comfort box. Another tip, I know that there are, uh, there are other uh, YouTube, uh, I call them gurus, who do the same thing that I do. They'll look at Pinterest to get inspired and 
go outside the box and pair something. That's what I do like about Homegirl, what's her name? Um, Well-loved clothing. I literally forgot her name right now. But she's like, I'm from Well-loved clothing. I love her. And she does this where she will find styles on Pinterest, get inspired, and make an outfit out of it. And I, I tend to do that sometimes too. So don't be afraid to go outside the box, okay? Okay. The last top, also from the same location in Salvation Army. This is from Windsor. This is a sheer long sleeve. This is one piece, y'all. I love the chain, the chain detail. I'm a little bummed because I think this is like a size small, a size medium, but it's very, very tight. Clearly, I still have some more working out to do, and it'll probably fit the way I'd like it to, but right now, it's very, very tight. But again, this is something I could easily wear with some leather pants, call it a day. Or, since there's color in here like gold, you can rock this with some gold pants. I think either one of those would be a great solution for this. And again, this was from Windsor. Those are my tops. Now let's start moving on to the bottom, shall we? Bottoms. The first pair of bottoms, okay. So these bottoms I got from 13 Atwater Village in Los Angeles with my homegirl, Rachel. We were about done shopping and they pull out this rack and these pants were the first pants. These were the first pants that were sitting there. I saw them, I was like, oh, I want them. And Rachel kind of saw them too. But right as the rack was laid out, like people were walking up and they were pulling the pants, looking at them. I was like, no. And I was trying to like ease my way in there, but you know, I believe in giving people space. So I was just waiting and waiting. I was like, please don't grab those pants. Oh cool, they put them back. The minute they left, I was like, let me get up. I was like, I want these. I don't care what size they are. I love the color, that olive. These are very in right now. I mean, we all know cargo pants are it. And what's funny is these, they unzip and they become shorts. I used to have pants like this back in the day. And it's crazy to me that I got rid of them thinking, I don't like this. Because again, as a kid, I didn't really know my style. And it's so funny that to have a pair exactly like these. I love the pocket detail. I love that if I ever want to turn them into shorts, I can. You have pockets in the back. I think this was also in the men's section. This is from BC Clothing. It says XLX30. And I love that they have the little belt. The belt is like a buckle. Buckle it up, buckle it up. Cute. With these pants, ooh, there's so many ways to wear this. I can wear this with any of the tops that I just talked about. You can dress this down. You can, ooh, you can do this Rihanna style with like a crop top maybe a blazer or something, some heels, cause you know, homegirl is always urban street style. And I feel like you can definitely do that with these pants. Just, it's the detail for me that is absolutely amazing. Ooh, I just realized there is a zipper right here. I mean, how many more pockets do you need? Does it matter? Does it matter? It don't, it don't matter, but yeah. Don't be afraid, dress it up, dress it down. These are my favorite pants. I love wearing these to skate in because they're comfortable, but I also like love wearing these on a night out. You can rock this with a crop top, button down, like I've got, I've got plenty of ideas to wear this. Next bottoms, they're all jeans, these next three items. These were from the Salvation Army in Canoga Park. And all of these jeans were about the same price, like six, no, they were all 9 dollars 
I literally went through each section. I was like, let me look at every single pair of jeans because you need the perfect fit. This first pair, uh, I'm kind of sad. I'm, I don't really want to show you how these look on because they are a little snug. However, if I work out, if, the more I continue working out and losing weight, they're going to fit perfectly. So I want to hold on to them. But these are Lee. I love that they got the nice little Lee on the back. Athletic fit is what it says. I love these. I love the fit. I love that color. Man. I'll, of course, I'll show you how it looks on, but man, when they fit, I'm going to have plenty of ideas for these. The next pair of jeans, ooh, these are a darker jean, but I love them. This is, I feel like, probably a vintage Gap because it says easy fit Gap. But then again, you never know. I love the back. It says Gap. Blue jeans. I love the wash on these. That wash is gorgeous. I love it, I love it, I love it. That's the wash I need. These are a size, they're a 35, 30. So they're a little bit baggy, a smidge, but I love it. I like when my pants are a smidge baggy and I can rock that baggy fit. Girl, yes. These again, with jeans, y'all know what to do. You can rock them with a t-shirt. You can wear a crop top. You can dress jeans up or dress them down. And if you need inspiration, you got Pinterest, boo. You got Pinterest. The last pair of jeans, oh, I love the wash on these two. That wash, everything. And of course, these are Levi. Levi Strauss jeans. It cracks me up every time when I think of Levi Strauss jeans. I think of the one guy I dated way back when and his name was Levi Strauss. <laughs> but at the time I didn't know what Levi Strauss jeans were. <laughs> Uh, these are, these are the 550. I've heard so many women talk about the 550s on their YouTube channels. And I'm like, 550, and now that I have a pair, I'm like, ah, oh, 550. They are a little bit big, so I get the little baggy fit. They are the relaxed fit tapered leg. 16, I think, is that the size? It says medium, 16 medium. But yeah, they're a little bit baggy. I love that. I love the wash on that jean. Again, with jeans, dress them up, dress them down. Looked for Pinterest for some great inspiration. Easily just go to Pinterest and put, put their jeans, outfits. And you can see the way people style them up. And sometimes that's what I be doing if I need some inspiration. But I usually like to wear a t-shirt unless I'm in the mood to dress up my jeans. Okay, the last bottom I'm gonna get into is a skirt. This skirt I got from the Salvation Army and it had the original tag on it, which was $165. And I'm laughing at the fact that I bought it for $6.99, but it is a leather, lavender skirt. Look at this gorgeous, look at that. Look at the pleating detail on that skirt. This is everything. This is from Risk 22 and it's a size large. I have not heard of this brand before. I should look them up, but I love lavender. <sighs> this you can dress up with a top, if you will. I actually have a dress that has a mesh material and it has a little bit of lavender in it that I think it would go really nicely with this outfit. That's how I would pair this because that's what's in my mind right now. Sometimes you, when you're in your closet, a color just pops in your mind you're like, wait, 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 I think I have something that'll give that, that bottom a pop or that top a pop. You know, oof. And I just knew the minute I bought this and when I looked at what I had in my closet, I was like, I already know. 
I also have a couple lavender tops if I wanted to do uh, just, um, ooh, what's the term I'm looking for? Just one uh, monochrome out, one, bleh, a monochrome look, girl. That's what you could do. And I love, I love lavender, guys. <sighs> so that was my tops and bottoms. All of these items I bought with my homegirl, Rachel, and we had the best time. Now the next things, the next items I'm gonna show you will be dresses and sets that I actually purchased with my friend, Fatima. So with the dress, this lovely silky dress, ooh, this dress right here. It's a, it's a long, it's really long. Zebra, oh, that satin fill, guys, 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 guys. And then the back, the back has like that little swoop. Ooh, I love this. This is from H&M. It is a size large, so homegirl is a little bit big, but you know what you do with oversized items? You belt it to give yourself some shape. Unless if you feel like you're okay with the shape you're given, then cool where it is, is. But for someone like me, I like the hourglass look, so I like to belt things in to cinch in that waist. And I have the perfect item to wear with this. So what I plan on wearing with this is another dress that I actually bought from Target and it was on sale. I think that would go cute underneath this dress because when I first bought this with Fatima, the first thing I thought was, ooh, a nice sheer long sleeve to go underneath would be really great because it's black and white. A pop of color is going to magnify this dress to thousands, girl. And I knew like, oh, if I have something like that, that's gonna be wonderful and then belt it. Oh. Oh. And when I found that dress from Target, I immediately tried it underneath this dress and let me tell you, it was everything I hoped it would be. Thank you. So happy about that. Again, guys, do not be afraid to go outside the box because I was outside the box with that one. All right, that was the only dress I purchased. Now let's go into the sets. Sets. Oh, I didn't even tell you the location. These are all the same location, all these clothes that I went shopping with Fatima. And this was, is this it? Yes. <laughs> this was in Venice Boulevard, 32 West Los Angeles. That is where I got the dress and then the rest of these pieces. So this is a two-piece set. Again, I'm loving my lavender moment, but it was so cute. This is from ASOS Design. Oh, I don't have anything ASOS. Yay. Cute little two-piece set. These are the shorts. I love that there's a nice little slit on the side. Boop. Slits on both sides. And then the top. The top. I really love the top here. So the top is like a nice little crop top, but I love that on the sides here, it's open and you can tie it. You can tie it however you want to. You can wear this set together. You can wear it separately. Of course, knowing me, I would love to wear it as a set and then down the line swap. I, um, I think this is gonna be great, especially when we get into summer and I start skating more at Venice and this is gonna be a cute set, especially when I travel outside of the country, this will be really great to wear. But I love this. I think together as a set, this might've been maybe, was it $14.99? Again, this is, that may be pricey for some people, but it's ASOS. We all know the prices of ASOS and with Goodwill, a lot of times they'll look at the price and I feel they'll just decide like, let's cut it right here. So yeah, love this. Even that crop top can go with the skirt. Boom, boom, bam, boom. Okay, the last set. I had told Fatima I wanted to get like a suit 
and I really wanted a brown blazer because the one that I had was too tight, I had to get rid of it. And then lo and behold, I find one. I, I don't know what I'm obsessed about more about this suit set, the fact that it fits me nicely, the fact that I love the color, or the inside of it is just everything. So this is the suit. This is the inside of the suit. That color, that beautiful burnt orange is everything, y'all. This is gorgeous. This, what's funny is this is Rena Rowan for Savile, size 12. What's funny is I believe last year or the year before that, I actually thrifted a black blazer that was from Savile. Crazy. I just love when stuff like that happens. I love the way that this fits. The material on this, I feel like is only meant to be worn in fall, winter, and a early spring, but it's not gonna work in the summer. It's gonna be too hot, boo. And then here are the matching buttons. Size 12 as well, of course. Clearly I did not steam these, so they don't look the best, but I am obsessed with that rich chocolate color. The buttons I may have to remove and put them closer because as you see when I wear them, the button seems like it's too far back and I would be a lot happier if they were a lot closer, like right here. So there is a buttonhole here for this piece. And I feel when I put the pants on, it fits right here. So I think I'd prefer moving both these buttons to right here. That way I'm just using those two buttons to attach, to, to put it on, you know? So those are all the clothing pieces that I have. Oh, I forgot to mention how I would style this two piece set. So of course I'd wear it together. I did thrift this really, it's a 70s psychedelic long sleeve button down. It's orange with brown, yellow, white, like the colors are, are me, they're me. And I love that 70s collar. And when you put that on with this two piece set, you came straight out of the 70s. Hunty boo boo, the outfit is everything i i feel like i definitely came straight out of the 70s with this outfit it was everything oh priceless and oh, i'm so glad i found that i can't wait to wear that somewhere i can't wait maybe for a 70s party that my family has coming up i don't know okay so we went through all the clothes now i do have some shoes that i want to show so these are the lovely shoes. Get a close up of these babies. They are lace with a cute lace shoestring. Guys, shoes are everything. So I bought these shoes from 13 Atwater Village. So the first time I went to this Goodwill, I had just finished a photo shoot with the lovely Elaine and I decided, oh, I'll just go to Goodwill because traffic was a little nuts. So I went in there and they had three pairs of these shoes. And I knew I knew they wanted these because they kind of remind me of Molly Ringwald way back when from um, Pretty in Pink when she wore something similar like these, but they also give me Prince vibes. Yes, Prince, he wore stuff like this. I bought these and I had to get there were two pairs that I had because other people were grabbing them and there were about like three, four pairs and I wanted to make sure I had the right size because they don't have the size anywhere. It's nowhere in here. I have no idea where these are from. No idea. So I grabbed two pairs, put on the first one, a little too big, put on the second one. They fit just right. Brought them home and my mom was sad that I didn't buy her a pair. And I was like, but mom, you said you have enough shoes and you didn't need any more. But I let her try them on and they fit her. These feel like, you know the movie Sisterhood of Traveling Pants? That's what these are for the shoes. They fit me, they fit my mom, they fit perfectly. If they fit one more person or two more people, this is a Sisterhood of the Traveling Shoes. 
<laughs> but yes, I absolutely love these. Accessories. I also purchased these from the same location. These beautiful lavender glasses. I love these and you know they'll go, they'll pair perfectly with that lavender leather skirt that I have. Love it. These are so cute. Don't be afraid to look at sunglasses, guys. And if you're worried, like, they might be dirty, wash them. Ugh. Yes. Next item is this beautiful book that I purchased with Fatima and the location. This is, like, a bookstore. This was off of Sepulveda Buddha. So Polvada Boulevard in Culver City. And I love the cover of the book. Still together. This is Connection Through Meditation. This book, I'm telling you, like just the color of it. I haven't had the chance to read it yet, but I knew like I definitely want to get more into meditation. This is great for if you want to do something with couples or if you just want to do this by yourself. Totally up to you. But I just thought this was such a beautiful book. I'm trying to see if they had, oh, they do, they do. Yeah, I thought that was beautiful. Great book, $3.99. Originally it was $16.99 and I got this for $3.99. I love this. Even if you don't read this, this is great to have if, it, if this is aesthetically pleasing. The second to last item before I get into these chairs. So I saw this. I've been to the location at Atwater three times and I saw this piece. And the two times I went, I never bought it. The third time I went back with Rachel, it was still here and I bought it. This is such a gorgeous piece. I mean, let me know in the comments what you feel when you see this. I can't even tell you what I feel. I just feel, I feel beautiful. It feels a little broken. It feels like connected. It feels, I feel so many different things. I don't know where to put it in my room because I have all my pictures put up and they fit perfectly, but I definitely want to have him in my, in my room. And I think there is a spot where I'd love to have him. But I do know that when I purchase a house, he gonna have his space, okay? Let me show you it one more time. One more time, this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous piece. I got this piece for $14.99. I'm sad whoever got rid of it, but I'm grateful because now I have it. All right, the last piece, guys, the last piece. These lovely yellow, leather chairs okay let me tell you this story i have been to this location at 13 at water three times in los angeles and three times i saw these chairs and there were eight i believe there were eight of them and when i first saw them i was like "Ooh, i love these chairs i love that color but what am i gonna do with the chairs and they were 9.99 the price was not bad not bad at all. Second time I saw them, there were six chairs. I was like, again, what am I gonna do with these chairs? Third time I went with Rachel, there were four left. And I was like, girl, I've seen these chairs so many times and I love them. But what made me buy them is when she saw that at this Goodwill location, furniture was going for 50% off. And if they had a green tag, they were $1.99. These chairs had the green tag for $1.99. Oh my God! We grabbed these chairs immediately. There was a, like a family sitting on them, but they moved because they knew we were into these chairs. I said $1.99 for each of these? She snagged two. I snagged too. I was like, I'm going to find a place for them in this room. My mom is going to be very mad at me for bringing furniture again into the house. But $1.99 plus 
these aren't chairs I'm just going to have and get rid of. No, 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 boo. These are chairs I plan on taking with me in my house because I want this as a color in my house. Do you understand me? These are very, very comfortable chairs. This one does have a slight little rip, but that's okay. It's not the end of the world. It's Goodwill. But besides that, good condition, great chairs. The leather is great. What else is there to say? These chairs. If you saw these chairs and you saw that they were $1.99, wouldn't you snag them too? Yes, you would. But enough of my rant. That is everything from the thrift hauls, from the two friends, Rachel and Fatima. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys loved my little thrift haul, how I styled my clothes. If you have any questions or comments, you know what to do. Please like and subscribe because I always got fun things to show you guys what they're always getting, traveling. Bye guys, thank you, I love you all. <laughs>